electromagnetic induction 12.1.2 you have to be able to derive the following equation and it takes a bit of time so derive the formula for the EMF induced in a straight conductor moving in a magnetic field and this equation is this the EMF is going to be equal to BLV B is the magnetic field strength L is the length of the straight conductor and V is the velocity at which it travels. Okay, so let's just imagine this. We have a, a magnetic field passing into the board. It's going into the board or into the paper or into the computer screen or whatever. Um, and we have these electrons. The electrons are going to move to the right and they're going to move in that direction. So they're going to go in that direction there. However, moving charges in a magnetic field will experience a force. They will move in a certain direction. So these electrons are moving to the right. If the electrons are moving to the right, by definition, the current is going to the left. So use Fleming's left-hand motor rule. If the, the magnetic field is going into the board, the current is going to the left. It means that the electrons will be experiencing a force which is, think, downwards they will be pushed down. So these electrons will be pushed in that direction. So in going from right, in left to right, they will actually be going, be forced to go down as well. Let's imagine that these electrons are actually now in a metal bar and that is, there's a, a, a rail here, metal rail here, and also a metal rail there as well. We're doing the same thing. The movement of the bar is to the right, which by definition means that the current is traveling to the left. These electrons will experience a force which will push them downwards in, in the bar. In which direction? They will go down as previously. Now what that means is that the electrons will move down, this will become negatively charged and therefore because this has a, a, a lack of electrons this will become positively charged. So basically we will have an EMF across this. This will be negative, this will be positive. So we'll have an EMF or a voltage induced across this bar. So here we have it again. We know that the electrons are going to be forced downwards. This part is going to be negative. All of this area is going to be negative. That's going to be positive. We know by the definition of electric field that the electric field is a force per unit charge. We need to remember that the electric field strength is the force per unit charge. And there will be an electric field because this will be positive, that will be negative. So there will be an electric field going uh, downwards. Also another de definition of electric field is the, the potential difference per unit length. Okay, or the potential gradient. The potential gradient is also equal to the electric field. These are two um, uh, equivalent uh, expressions of the electric field strength. So there will be a force acting on the electron in the bar which will be equal to this. Now effectively since this is negative and this is positive the electrons will be they will now feel a force upwards which is towards uh, the positive end even though the movement in the magnetic field has pushed them downwards they set up this potential difference they will be field of force which will push them upwards and that force will be depend on uh, the charge and the electric field strength that has been established here okay so the force that it will feel will be E times by Q that will be the, the, um, the force that will be felt by the electrons pushing them upwards now so this force will be E times Q. We also note that E, a definition of the electric field strength, is also the potential gradient. So V over L is also equal to E. So Fe is equal to VL times by Q. Okay, you should be able to manage that easily enough. This is the force on the electron due to the electric field, which will be pushing it uh, upwards. But also remember from previous uh, class when we did field on forces that when a, when a charge moves in a magnetic field it will experience a force which, which depends on the magnetic field strength the charge and the velocity so there will be another force acting on it as well which is BQV so there are two forces acting on this electron one is the, the fact that it's moving in a magnetic field which will force it downwards 
And once this potential difference is set up, there will be a force pushing the electrons upwards. So this pink one here is the force due to the electric field. This is the force due to the fact that it's moving in a magnetic field. We have two forces acting on it in opposite directions. So here we have it. So we've got the force on the electron, which is moving upwards due to the electric field. We have a force downwards due to the movement in a magnetic field. Um, eventually, once we reach a, an equilibrium, these forces will be equal. So we say this term here will be equal to this term here. So in other words, the force due to the mag a movement in the magnetic field will be equal to the force due to the electric field that has been established. BQV, which is the force due to the magnetic field, will be equal to the force due to the electric field. Now we can uh, simplify this a little bit. Uh, v, take the L over, over to this side. We can cancel the Qs from both sides. Um, so that gives us V is equal to BLV. This is the derivation that you need to be able to do. V is the potential difference. So in other words, this is the EMF. The induced EMF will be equal to BLV. B is the magnetic field strength. L is the, the length of the conducting bar. And V is the velocity at which it travels in the magnetic field.